Hi, I'm Susan Aaron. I'm an electrical engineer and an assistant professor at Queen's University. I work to make renewable energy more accessible for everyone. Electrical engineering is the science of harnessing the force of electricity and applying it to our daily lives. Personally, I'm an electrical engineer, not a computer engineer, and I work in the area of power electronics. Nothing that relies on electricity would work without power electronics engineers. We are the ones who figure out how to harvest electrical power and deliver it to your homes, your machines, and all of your devices. When I was in high school, I dreamed of becoming a medical doctor. And then I found out that you can't simply go directly into medical school. You need to have an undergraduate degree first. However, in high school, I enjoyed physics and math far more than biology, which in retrospect should have been a sign. <laughs> um, so I decided to go for an engineering degree and then I would apply for medical school. However, once I got into engineering, I changed my mind and decided to stick to it because I enjoyed it so much. So these days, many people around the world get their energy or their electricity from fossil fuels. Let me explain what, what fossil fuels are. So our single greatest source of energy on the planet is the energy that comes from the sun. And plants capture this energy through photosynthesis, through their leaves, and they store it within these chemical bonds. And then over time, after these plants die and decompose, sometimes they get covered under layers of sediment. And over time, they are converted into what we call fossil fuels. And then when people find these fossil fuels and they burn them, the energy that's been stored, the energy from the sun is released. However, Fossil fuels are dangerous for the planet, they're dangerous for our health, but most importantly, they're not a sustainable form of energy because once we run out of this plant matter, this biomass, then we will simply have nowhere to turn to. So my job as an electrical engineer, specifically in the area of power electronics and its application to renewable energy, is to find a way to harvest energy from the sun without using fossil fuels. So engineers like myself have to figure out how to harvest energy from renewable energy sources, such as solar and wind. And we have to figure out how to deliver it to people in a way that is reliable. So renewable energy sources on their own are intermittent which means that sometimes we have them and sometimes we don't. For example, sometimes it's a sunny day, sometimes it's a cloudy day. We can't rely only on renewable energy sources. We have to figure out how to make them reliable. And that's where microgrids come into the picture. A microgrid is a collection of renewable energy sources combined with an energy storage system, such as a battery. And that battery or energy storage system can store extra energy when it's available and then release that uh, extra energy that it's been storing when it's needed. So my work is to figure out the best way to design and control these microgrids. And harnessing renewable energy will not only allow us to replace fossil fuels when we run out of them, but it will also allow us to become more independent. Instead of paying power companies to produce electricity for us, we will be able to produce electricity ourselves. I'd like to encourage those of you who are watching this video to stay curious. Our never-ending curiosity is the single reason why we as a human species have come as far as we have. If we weren't curious, we would have stuck to the old ways and never have developed electricity or become interested in science. And I would not be able to talk to you through this video. Our curiosity and desire to learn makes us unique.